Now I'm gonna show you how to enter a central limit z-score, which is basically your standard z-score, data minus mean over standard deviation. But because it's a central limit theorem, it's actually instead of data, it's a group average, so we have to account our standard deviation for the group size. I took this particular problem from my video titled 6.4, part five, solving group probability between because it is a probability of something being between 25 and another value, but I'll just show you the 25. It's problem 2B at timestamp 4 minutes and 40 seconds where you actually see this Z formula worked out. I've since decided that what I have written off to the green, off to the side in green is a little bit better because we want to think of grouping the numerator, grouping the denominator, and specifically that 6 needs to be divided by the square root of 10 and often students don't get that correct when I use this horizontal format off to the left. So I have since started focusing on a vertical format for clarity's sake. I've written in purple the buttons I'll be entering or using on the calculator and blue is just the values specific to this problem. I'm working on the Casio FX 115 ES Plus, although I think it's exactly the same for the FX 300. So I need to start off with a parenthesis. The parenthesis is listed in between the eight and the nine just above it. So parenthesis 25 minus 28 and parenthesis to close off my numerator divided by, and now I need to start the denominator. So I need a left parenthesis again, six divided by, and I want the square root, which on this particular calculator is a square with a solid little box in it. Then I can enter the 10, and actually, I'm ready to hit enter. I don't need to, you know, arrow out of that square root. I don't need to close off my denominator. I can just go ahead and hit the equals button. Now, I specifically left the calculator in this mode where it looks like I don't have the value or maybe not an acceptable format. So what you can do is hit the SD button just above the Dell button, and it'll give you the decimal version of your choice or the other option is just to change the configuration of your calculator. So if I hit the shift button on the top left and come over to this mode setup button, then what happens is I need to choose item two, which is line IO. And now when I go ahead and enter that same problem, which takes me a second, hold on, automatically I'm gonna go straight to the decimal value and I don't need to worry about hitting SD.